You'll not be on being exposed for allegedly trying to take Blue Can Trail out this year has been absolutely crazy, but hearing allegations of B once a leg and plotting to one alive somebody was not on my bingo car for this year. But according to Sing of Blue Con Trail, that's exactly what happened. Now, Blue recently came out to allege that she had an affair with Jay-Z like we've all been expecting all these years, and that Beyonce found out she then went ahead to claim that Beyonce tried to get rev Angie on her, and not only did Beyonce get her fired from her record label, but Beyonce allegedly tried to unalive her with poisonous gas. Now you'll remember when Blue had her supposed mental breakdown and claimed that somebody was trying to take her out well. She is telling the full story alleging that it all has to do with Beyonce. Yo, there's a whole lot to going on here, so let's unpack this messy drama. It sounds like Beyonce might have took a page out of Blue Ken Trill's book cuz while Jay was hemming, she was beaming and a beamer just beaming. She couldn't believe that she got a man cheating, y'all. At this point, I don't think Beyonce is ever going to beat these allegations of her allegedly holding these women back and killing their careers because there have been so many accusations from People in the industry who have come out to say one or two things about Miss Beyonce and how she held their careers back now, we're definitely not going to say that these allegations are all true because there are bound to be people who accuse her because they're jealous of her or something like that. But in some special cases, you really have to sit down, assess the information because, well, it is kind of Suze and Blue Ken Trill's case is one of those because not only was she claiming that Beyonce ruined her career, but she is also claiming that Beyonce allegedly tried to unalive her because she blew had an affair with Beyonce's me and Jay's and one thing we know about Miss Beyonce is that she does not play about her man, for example, a blind eye a couple of months ago claimed that Beyonce was the reason that Tiara Marie's career went downhill allegedly Beyonce found out that Tiara had had a little something something going on with Jay's even though Tiara was way younger than Jay-Z at the time. According to this blind item, not only did Beyonce allegedly make sure that Jay-Z ended the affair, but she allegedly made sure to end Tiara's career just to teach her a lesson to stay away from her man. Time all of the ink was dry, she was just shy of being legal. But that didn't stop the mogul. He liked to sample the new talent. He was sampling her on a fairly regular basis, but he was also involved with the current a list singer who was in his face every day and this could allegedly be Beyonce. The thing is though, that corn star in charge of her career was feuding with the mogul and told the mogul he would not be allowed to hook up with the singer again. I assume he thought the mogul would think she was something special, apparently not as special as the current a lister because the new signee was dropped and the word was put out on the street. No record deals for her from any label. When someone ignored the edict, they were paid a visit. If the visits were ignored, then other steps were taken. This was a total lockdown of a career that lasted almost a decade. Well, Blue Canal is now claiming that the same thing happened to her claiming that Beyonce allegedly used her power and influence to ensure that Blue got blacklisted for some context. I need you to know the story of what really went, went down between Blue and Jay-Z's. In the first place, well, Blue Cantrell. And Jay-Z used to be pretty cool back in the late 90s and they were so close that people started to wonder if there was more to their relationship than just friendship at the time Blue was working at. A backup vocalist for big names in the industry like Diddy, and it wasn't long before her talent caught the eyes of some industry execs like L.A. Reid who signed her to his label Eris Records in 2011 she dropped her debut album. So Blue and it was a smash hit, it got number 8 on the bill. 200 had multiple top 10 songs on the Billboard Hot 100 and earned her not one, but two nominations at the Grammys that year, and within two weeks the album had been certified gold. Around that time, she midge started to get closer and closer, and I'm not going to lie, it was kind of weird on Jay-Z's part because he had just started making moves on, be once trying to get her to date him. So what on earth was he doing getting so close to another woman? There were speculations that he was keeping Blue as a backup just in. In case Beyonce said no to his advances, he would have another R&B powerhouse on his arms. He had recently gotten burned by Aaliyah at the time, so he wasn't trying to put his eggs all in one basket, but a Niwe's Blue went on to drop her second album in 2003, and around that same time Beyonce also dropped her debut solo album Dangerously in Love Now. Y'all know when two artists drop songs close to each other, it can almost always lead to a rivalry or something like that. And that? Allegedly what happened between Beyonce and Blue. So not only were they competing for the same man, 
but the rivalry had spilled over into their music and, well, things just started to go downhill from there, El Central always it. Insisted that there was nothing romantic going on between her and Jay-Z, and they were just friends and all that stuff, but people really didn't buy it, and they belied that she was just trying to save face. But the rumors got stronger when Blue had an interview with Wendy Williams and y'all know how. Wendy was back then. She did not hold back in any punches when she was interviewing a guest. She straight up asked Blue Krell if she had kissed Jay-Z or done anything romantic with him. Now this would have been and the perfect chance for Blue to deny the rumors and put them to rest, but instead she fueled them even more when she laughed and dodged the question. Kissed Jay-Z romantically? Uh, no. <laughs> no, I can't answer that. I can't answer that. <laughs> oh, she's touching him up the neck! Look! Do you see? Why do people not want to let the Jay-Z Blue Cantrell thing go? Because, honey, that was a fabulous little high point in your well, career. Well, what about Beyonce the... and Jay-Z? That's, that's fabulous. See, now, there's a lot of ways she could have handled that situation, but dodging it and laughing like that was the worst way possible because it just made the rumors even stronger. But if you thought that was bad, well, it gets worse because Wendy went on to say that the reason Jay-Z had gone with Beyonce was that Beyonce was younger. And the next thing we knew, Blue jumped in to say that Beyonce was more naive and more easily manipulated than she was. And that was what Jay-Z wanted in a woman. I didn't think it would last, though. What, me and him? Yeah. Why? Because you're above 25. Why, he needs somebody younger than that? At the end of the day, yeah. Why do you say that? Because I think at the end of the day, a younger, um, less savvy to the ways of the world broad. Somebody a little bit more naive. You said it, not me. <laughs> you good at- Do you know what I mean? Do you good know? at making me say things? Yeah, I just thought that you were too. Not only was her dodging the question messy, but it was super disrespectful to Beyonce to call her naive, because at the time she had nothing to do with the drama at that point. But that wasn't all because in the next few years, Blue would accuse Beyonce of stealing the visuals of her song and passing. It off as hers, for example. Lee Wen Beyonce and Jay Z dropped a music video for their song Bonnie and Clyde. All I need in this life for sin is me and my girlfriend down a ride to the very end. It's me. My boyfriend, yeah, that song Blue immediately accused him of copying her music video for her song Roundup when Beyonce dropped her song Baby Boy. You Stay on My Mind featuring Sean Paul Blue again. Accused Beyonce of copying her because she had released a song Brie with Sean Paul way before. Beyonce did then. There were also speculations that Beyonce was talking about Blue Cantrell and her song signs where she said, I wish he was a Virgo, the same sign as me. Yeah, know how to show me love cause I- Be been hurt by a Pisces Jays is a Sagittarius. Beyonce is a Virgo and Blue Cantrell is a Pisces so fans believe that Beyonce admits that Jay-Z cheated on her with Blue. I don't know, it's a little bit of a stress for me, but if you thought that this mess couldn't get any weirder, just take a seat. Blue Cannell then had an interview with The Guardian, and when they asked her about Beyonce, this is what she had to say. I'm an adult, she's younger, and if she's doing what you're saying, then she's being a little immature, maybe she's trying to do it to get pressed, but I want to make her understand if she goes there with me, it's the wrong move she needs to understand what she's doing, and what she's getting into Blue Canra, then also drag Jay-Z into it, saying if she is being negative, she doesn't need to be because she's a beautiful girl. But if you have issues with your man, address it with the guy. Don't take it out on the girl. It's never the way to go well that allegedly was the last straw that brought. 